We're continuing on with PowerPoint Chapter 1. We're on Step 10. It asks us to move slide 8, a natural franchise, so it becomes slide 3. The great thing of our slide thumbnails over here is it's really easy to move slides. So we click and hold slide 8, and we keep on popping up till we're in position 3. And it's now in position 3. You can see 1, 2, 3, and I drop and I save, and that's the end of step 10. Step 11, display slide three. We are on slide three. Search online pictures for an image of waffles. Now it's asking us to do online pictures. And what we wanna do in this situation is use our icons we already have inside our text box right here and this will default to the Bing search engine. We then type the word waffles with plural, and we have Bing search for waffles, and all sorts of choices. Maybe there's one that looks appealing to you. I like the happy guy. I'm gonna click him. I'm going to insert him. And he is perfectly fine right there in the center. I could even make him a little bit bigger if I wanted by grabbing the corners. You grab the corners of the picture, it will size it proportionally and keep the ratio of that picture. I'm gonna save, and then it says insert the same in image on slide eight, but in the lower right-hand corner. So I'm gonna right-click that. I'm gonna copy and come all the way down to slide eight. I'm going to paste and I choose my paste picture, but he's too big now. I'm gonna resize him nice and small and put him over here in the right-hand corner. I think he looks cute there. What do you think? Let's save, and that's the end of step 11. On step 12, go to slide five. So I'm clicking over here on the left part, to slide five. That's where we had our table. Apply the fly-in entrance to the text box containing our first year. So I click our text box, and you can see I get my outline frame here. And I'm going to go to the seventh tab, which is animation. And you can see we have all sorts of animations. But the one it's asking us to pick is fly-in. So it will make our first year fly-in. And now it says click our second year and do the same thing and we can click fly in, and then it asks us to go over to the timing panel and make the change to do after previous. So basically, we can watch this. It's kind of fun to preview it. You'll see that the first one will fly in, and then the second year will fly in. One, two, very well done. Save, and that's the end of step 12. Step 13. Click slide eight, which is our last slide with our mini waffle, and apply the fly-in entrance animation to the text content placeholder. We already have bullets here on our text content placeholder, so when we apply fly-in, it will choose to fly each one of these in individually. I'm gonna come up here and click fly-in, and it even gave you a preview. Let's do that preview one more time, and you'll see how it'll launch each bullet at one time. Perfect. Now we're gonna save step 13. Start the slideshow from the beginning. Navigate through the presentation on slide eight and underline the words detailed financial proposal in the first bullet using the pin pointer option. So we're gonna come up here to slideshow. We're gonna go from beginning and you'll watch it take over the whole screen and we're gonna go down to slide eight, which is the very last one, okay? And it's asking us to use the pen marker, which is down here in the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. You have these little bitty dot icons that you can use when you're in presentation mode. And come up here to pen and underline detailed financial proposal.
It also asks us to underline two potential franchises and ten additional franchises. Now, while we're in this, it asks us to save our markings. So, we want to end the show. And it says, do you want to keep ink annotations? And for this assignment, yes, we do. So we click Keep. And we save. And that's the end of Step 14. Step 15, display the print view of the presentation. With four slides per page horizontally. I go to Home, and then I head on over to File. You could just go to File, but I like to come back to the beginning of the ribbon. And then I go to Print, and in Print, you see Print Preview over here on the right-hand side. If you come to the left-hand side, you can click on Full Page Slides and go to Four Slides Horizontal. And then you'll see how, if you were to print, it would have the four slides present right there. It says save it, so we're going to go back with our arrow, and we're going to click the save button, and then it says exit power and submit for grading to my IT lab. Great job, team. Save it, close it, and submit it for grading.